Hello, Zoogler here. I wanted to um, do a little quick comparison between the two mouses. It's a G602 and G502 by Logitech. And um, the 602 here has been my normal everyday use for over a year. This one here I got on sale on Amazon a few days ago, so I've used it for a few days now. And uh, just kind of want to get my opinion out there on uh, which one you should pick. Or if you're looking to buy 502 or maybe you're looking into getting the wireless 602. So I'm going to start with the 602 because I've used this thing over a year and I just kind of want to get my uh, opinion on it. And uh, uh, I will say this, this is the most comfortable mouse that I've ever held. Uh, it is just, uh, you know, amazing in your hand. You know, it's got the six side button so you can use it for first person shooter or uh, MOBA games. Whichever, you know, it, it, it does both of them real well. I mean, the clicks, the, the left click, right click, and even the, the side scroll, you know, the, it, it all feels perfect. I mean, the Logitech couldn't have done a better job designing this mouse. You know, there's not very many negative things I can say about it. You know, the only negative thing I can actually say is the uh, DPI is only 2,500. And... Um, it, at 2500 is what I have a set. I don't mess with anything lower than that. It feels, you know, just right. But I wish that they would have had an option to go a little higher on it, you know, with the sensor. But that's the only negative thing I can say about it. And overall, I mean, I give this thing a uh, 9 out of 10, honestly. It, it's a perfect weight. It contours around your hand real well. Uh, the, the plastic right here has this kind of like a rough feeling to it, kind of like sandpaper. But it's not r too rough. I mean, it's just perfect. I mean, it doesn't slip out of your hand. It doesn't sweat. It doesn't get hot or, you know, gulky or nothing like that. I mean, it, it is just a uh, perfect... I'd say it's a perfect mouse, honestly. You know, and I like wireless. I don't like wires and stuff like that. So, this thing has been amazing. Um, so, and then, you know, it uses uh, two AA batteries. Or you can just use a single AA, you know, just a single battery. It works with one or two. The battery life on it is simply amazing. You know, I've I've had it for over a year and I've replaced battery on it just once. Uh, you have a button right here that you can change between two different modes. Uh, the blue, I believe, is 250 hour lifespan, and the green one is up to 25. I'm sorry, 1200 hour span, if I remember correctly. But I honestly did not see a difference in performance. So uh, I don't, you know, I don't mess with that too much. I mean, the battery life is just astonishing for what it is and now we're gonna move on to uh, G502 uh, this thing just looks impressive it is one of the best looking mouses on the market I mean this thing is uh, dressed to impress honestly it, it is a uh, gaming mouse I believe it's considered one of the best gaming mouses you can get on the market you know it's not the best I don't think but it's one of the best it has one of the best sensors it goes up to 12,000 DPI uh, this one also has uh, weights that you can distribute, distribute, you know, make it back heavy, front heavy, sides, you know, you can fully customize that part. Uh, so it is a pretty customizable mouse. I picked it up on Amazon for $57 a few days ago. And, um, you know, uh, this one has three side buttons. You know, that, that's also where negative comes in. The side buttons are real easy to press in. That is, you know, so if you're raising your mouse, you can easily, you know, uh, press it in. But, you know, that's just, you know, I think if you get used to it, you'll, you'll kind of know that. So you're not going to, you know, you'll hold it down on a rubber. You can see a rubber right here. And and then uh, rubber in the back on this side. So it has a really good grip. So um, I think a uh, general user on daily basis will get used to holding it like this instead of like this and you know trying to press it every time you lift it but I do wish the Logitech made those side buttons a little harder to click instead of how easy it is you know that's that's a negative on that part this one also has two side buttons right here left and right click and then the scroll wheel clicks to the left and clicks to the right clicks down as well and scroll wheel has the little rougher feel and you can also click it and make it smooth so you can do that or you can just do that whichever preference you like and then the um, it has also a uh, program you know has up to three different programmable modes um, this one right here is my overwatch mode because I have the G blink in red which means that's my uh, custom mode 
and then this is a default mode so I like that aspect of it and then another negative thing about I can say about the G502 is the uh, the cable itself I mean it is a uh, kinda hard you know it's not really a smooth smooth cable you know I wish they would have made that thing soft but that's not really a deal breaker that's just a preference but the biggest complaint I can say about the 502 is how loud it is even the scroll wheel I mean this thing is just a really loud I mean it has a mechanical feel and you can go really quick you know you can go fast with it I don't know how fast you can click but I mean it, it clicks real quick but the loudness of it kills me you know that that's one of the things I don't like that is the, the most disappointing thing about this mouse is uh, the loud you know versus my 602 it's not really a loud mouse you know you know like my keyboard for instance it's a fully mechanical keyboard but you know this thing is I have a silent silent switches so it's not loud or nothing like that so I don't like loud things but anyways uh, with both of these mouses you can download this program co called Logitech Gaming Software and you can fully customize these buttons you know you can customize your DPI you can go up to 12,000 or you can go down to uh, 200 you know wh whatever uh, preference you like so uh, I like mine uh, I think at 3200 is what I have a set that's my uh, preferred preference you know and I've, I was playing with um, let's see 28 I was messing with this earlier so I was playing with 3250 and then we're gonna set this one at 5000 so you, you can kinda play with it and see what you like versus my uh, 602 this thing only goes up to 2500 and you know 2500 feels natural but I just wished that um, it would go higher than that but you know that's not really a deal breaker you know like I said this thing is a perfect mouse uh, overall I give this one uh, seven and a half out of ten you know it's a really good mouse it's definitely worth sixty bucks uh, as a gamer you love it you know it is an impressive looking mouse so uh, you can't go wrong with either of these two mouses but between the two I'm still gonna go back to my 602 I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this one uh, what I'm actually what I'm thinking about doing is taking a sensor taking this thing apart taking both of these apart and taking a sensor out of this one and see if I can make it work in this one um, I might do that because I don't like the way it clicks but that's just a thought right now so if you guys have any comments or anything just uh, leave them in the bottom and um, that's that's all I got